Hi guys, welcome back to Finpact. Today we're going to be talking about my favorite, favorite cryptocurrency ever. Okay, that's a bit of an exaggeration, but it, you guys know if you've been following me that my favorite crypto is Cardano. I have been a fan of Cardano since forever. Charles Hoskinson, genius. IOHK, genius. Everything they have with peer reviewing, academic research with their cryptography papers that are reviewed by some of the best institutions in the world, how they verify each protocol, and how they've spent years in development. It's one of my favorite cryptocurrencies because it resolves all the problems that we see with ETH. So as we know, Charles Hoskinson was a co-founder for Ethereum, but he saw lots of issues with Ethereum and the way they executed the development of ETH, which ended up resulting in high fees, slow transactions, speeds, blah, blah, blah. We've seen what it's like with ERC-20. I mean, $25 fees to send things across, not ideal. Whereas Cardano, it's like one Cardano or something like that. So let's look at Cardano and what's happening with the price. I'm going to show you some different technical analysis today. I'm going to show you the rainbow chart for Bitcoin. I mentioned that once before on my channel, but I believe that Bitcoin is a leading indicator for many of the other altcoins. So in that case, I want to show you how, where we think the Bitcoin price is heading in relation to this bull run and whether we think this bull run is towards the end or it's not. We don't know. No one can say with full certainty. So before I get all these people in the comments saying, how can you say it's the end of the bull run? Or um, it's the end of the bull run and you're saying these prices are going crazy. No one knows. Come on. Also, past performance is not always indicative of future performance. Remember that. Remember, a lot of it is speculation and people are making their own guesses. But it's always good to weigh up two different sides, whether we think the bull market is going to continue and what that strategy is, or whether we think we've got to prepare for the bear market coming in. So it's important that you consider both sides before you see someone saying something like, oh, the bull run is ending and you find that's a negative statement. I mean, trust me, I'm the last person to want the bull run to end. I want the bull run to continue. But today I do think the bull run will continue based on this particular analysis. So let's quickly just run through coin market cap to see where we're at. Uh, so currently Bitcoin is up around 10.33% on the seven day chart and it's only down around 0.22% in the 24 hour chart. Similar with the rest of the alts, no major downswings today. Most are in the green on the seven day chart. So that's good. And as for Cardano, we are down uh, 0.36% on the seven day chart and down around 3.58% on the 24 hour chart with the current current price at $2.19. Now, before we go into Cardano technical analysis, let's look at the Bitcoin rainbow chart. So where we are currently is around here. So the current price for Bitcoin is around 48,000. And if we look at the rainbow chart, we're at that point there. And it's really hard to pinpoint that exact bit. But yeah, there we go. So as you can see, we're not yet in the maximum bubble territory. So just to show you guys all the different components. So the red bit at the top is maximum bubble territory. So that's when we see big crashes. As you can see, sometimes they exceed it and then they crash. They get to the top and there's always a crash. Get to the top, all time highs, always a crash. So we're not there yet. We're nowhere near the red point right now if we are still continuing in this bull run. And I mean, at the, at the looks of it, compared to this logarithmic scale, we aren't even near the all time high for Bitcoin. So the second part is sell, 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 where people start getting scared. And this part is where FOMO comes in. So people are almost buying in at the top. This part here is, are people questioning, are we still in bubble territory? But actually, we're not even there yet. That's usually at, right at this point. And at this point, where we're at is the hodl point. So that's where we're at right now. So every, So currently, by this means, they're saying, hold on, because it's still going to go up. Green part, still cheap. Here, accumulate. This is the whole buy the dip. This is buy, another buy the dip. This is fire sale, basically buy, 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 but people are selling, but you're getting the discounts. So we still have a while to go. So according to this, if we look at the bubble top here, so let me say it's going to be around beginning of 2022. This almost predicts at the bubble point that Bitcoin could reach almost 200,000 Bitcoin. Now, Cardano, Ethereum, the rest of the alts, they tend to follow what Bitcoin does. So if we are saying that this is going to continue, this bull run is continuing, so the Cardano price can reach these levels. So here was the bull run in 2018, very tiny compared to the prices we're seeing now. Like we are at this point here. So we may see some volatility along the way and drop to as low as $1.5, but we could see a further rally up to around 4 4 $4.26 at the lower end to around, let's say, 5.5 at the higher end if we see a major rally up. I think it's more likely to be somewhere in between here. So if we're going to see bull run lasting till about beginning 2022, so let's go into here about Feb, 
could be about a four dollar card on it potentially even six depending on which support it meets and which uh resistance it meets so that's pretty much double where we're at now so decent return on investment. Now remember, if we see momentum in Cardano, all the Cardano projects that are to follow suit will see major price rallies, more than what we see in major altcoins like Cardano. So a Cardano launchpad, for example, could see 100x from its pre-sale. So I'm really excited about a pre-sale coming this week on October 7th. It's called AstroSwap and it's a Cardano DEX. So think like Uniswap for Ethereum, we have we have pancake swap for BNB, Binance Smart Chain. So think of this as that, but for Cardano, and it's called Astro Swap, and it's going to be going live on October 7th. I'm going to be making a video on it. I'm really excited. You guys know I'm a Cardano fan. It's like my favorite thing ever for my birthday buy me Cardano. <laughs> and guys, I really recommend trying to sign up for the pre-sale. I am so excited because it's a DEX for Cardano. And two major things, it's powered by WagyuSwap and it's incubated by Bluezilla. And we know Bluezilla launches are huge. And it's also partnered with Adapad. So you guys, I will be posting a video on October 7th about all the details, but definitely keep an eye on it. As you know, these pre-sales are super competitive competitive. Um, do sign up in advance. You can see the tokenomics on here. But anyway, that's a bit of a side note, which I will be talking about closer to the pre-sale date. So that will be on Thursday. But till then, I want to go back into some Cardano news that we're seeing. So this was, this I thought was very exciting. So Cardano Jet, I don't know if I'm saying this right, release date. Basically, the point you need to know is it's a Cardano stable coin that is being talked about that may be launching. Now, no one knows when it's going to be launching, but it was talked about at the Cardano Summit in 2021. Cardano Jed is a new stable coin for Cardano. So the release date, we don't know yet. Coty, IOG or IOHK have not given a definitive release date or a launch window, but it could be coming in the next few weeks. We don't know. So let's just stay tuned for that because I think this launching will cause potentially Cardano's price to rally because a stable coin for Cardano uh, powered and developed by the Cardano team that would be fantastic. So what Cardano Jed is, is that it will use smart contracts to ensure price stability. It sort of maintains a base coin reserve. So it will also help transaction costs be more predictable. So it avoids the high gas fees problem that we have with Ethereum. And just a great little cool sustainability thing I've seen. They are, have a quest to plant 1 million trees. I love it when companies or crypto companies invest in sustainable measures in the world. I think it really gives them an edge and they're giving back to the community. So guys, that's it for today. But I want to tell you guys, I'm going to be at the London crypto event called Token 2049 or 2049. There's so many founders coming from huge crypto companies, Chainlink, Polkadot. So I'm going to try to see if I can get any interviews in for you guys. If I can't, well, I will at least try to film any of the speeches for the channel so that you guys can see what was said. I'm so excited for this event. I cannot believe I'm going. I'm actually so excited. It takes place on October 7th and 8th this week. And also remember the pre-sale for AstroSwap is also on October 7th. I'll link it down below in case you guys want to know about a Cardano DEX project that is launching. And also guys, I'm now going to be producing content for Tipranks TV as well. I've linked their YouTube channel also in my description box. So I will be posting with them five times a week. So if you want to see me there, so do check them out. I have linked them down below. And I'm also going to be obviously posting on my channel because Finpact is our life. Wow, that was so cringy but it's true. So yeah, don't forget to hit that like button down below and that subscribe button and that bell notification so that you get informed on when I release a video. As a lot of the information is time sensitive, we know the prices in crypto stock markets, they move quickly. So if you want to have up to date information, hit that bell notification. And I also have a Patreon where I post what I buy and sell in real time, my opinions on market sentiment, where I think prices are heading and going. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. These are just my own opinions. This content is purely just for educational purposes. Don't forget to do your own research with anything, especially when it comes to investing. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.